Hello there, it's Arby, and welcome to the lesson 3 of Concepts of Programming Languages. I mean Concepts of Programming. And in the last video we talked about what a programming language really is. And now in this video we are going to look at some kind of programming languages, mainly high level and low level languages, and what are their needs and why are they here. So first of all, our main problem here is how to talk to computer. We know about programming languages and that is how we talk to computer but what are the languages that are needed to talk to computer? So let's see. The first ever language that we were that was there for talking with computer is called binary language and in binary is a special type of language in which we have only ones and zeros. Okay now the language we mainly use i mean the number system we mainly use is called a decimal it has 10 digits from 0 to 9 but binary has 1 and 0 and in the early early ages of computers the scientists had to program the computer using a binary language so a well written binary language program would look like this do you think that any human can make sense what this is and write a program what this is actually it was very 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 difficult at that time to write programs because scientists had to write programs using just ones and zeros and it was one of the hardest job on earth so that is where they came to a new solution they used the language named hexadecimal in hexadecimal we have 16 digits we have 0 to 9 and then we have A to F. Here we have 16 digits. And using the 16 digits, this gets reduced. So this becomes 1, and this becomes our 8. This becomes A. I'm sorry, actually, this became 4. Okay. So this is how they reduced the language using hexadecimal. But, but it was again pretty hard look at this can you really make out what this thing is when you, the program is like this can you imagine that this is a computer program and if you're given the task to make out what this is <laughs> it was pretty painful so then there came another solution and this is called a language named assembly language and here we use something named mnemonics these things are called mnemonics and here the instructions were something like this suppose you want to move the data from b to a we give an instruction move a b suppose you want to add 5 to the accumulator we give an instruction add 5 h and your h basically means that 5 is an hexadecimal so here is the symbol language and this was pretty fast and amazing but again when the programs became more complicated it was pretty hard to use symbol languages so then it was not possible to continue with symbol languages and then came the solution which just changed the world then came the high level programming languages the most popular languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Pascal, COBOL, Python all of these are high level languages now what are high level languages? high level languages have English like syntax so these languages are easy to learn easy to implement and these are pretty fast and any human being can understand and learn these languages and program the computer so it's pretty profitable from all the aspects and but the major problem was these languages are pretty high from the processor or the hardware when we used zeros and ones we just programmed at the level of the computer then you used assembly language and we got pretty uh, uh, some higher level and then we used high level languages and we go much higher so the program needs to travel to here and then it needs to travel here so there's a little bit lack of efficiency but this really makes sense because 
now human beings can program using those high level languages and that is why you need to learn these kind of languages in order to talk to the computer because you don't know C I mean you don't know binary you can't talk to computer using just ones and zeros so you have to learn these high level languages and that was basically the topic of this tutorial now here is an example C program C is a language and this is the smallest program that can be that can you wrote in C what this program does it it's basically prints hello YouTube here you can see that it's right uh, it's written here print print basically means to print this on screen it means get ch that means get a character it means return that means return something from here so as you can see that it is written in English like syntax so that humans can really understand what is written here so it is pretty easy to learn so that was for this tutorial and in the next tutorial will learn how the computer understand these languages you know the computer understands ones and zeros but when you talk in high level you don't know how the computer understands these languages in order to understand that you have to know the functionality of compilers interpreters and assemblers the computer uses the compilers interpreters and assemblers to understand what you say to it in high level languages and that is a topic for the next video so the next video is going to be very 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 interesting so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed a lot and learned something thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe